Welcome, Amalgamaniacs. Who dares wins? It's the boy wonderful Ian Wallace, my lovely co-host Shelby Crono, and we bringing you the battles. It's what we do here on Fridays, gratuitous violence, lots of knock down, drag ups, beat em ups, pugilists, if you will. That's what we do around here. We take two to twelve hundred people and put them in an arena. And they fight for your enjoyment. It's like the Roman Colosseum. All you're missing is a maiden to bring you grapes or a manservant to hold your umbrellas for you. You're welcome. This week's battles. Some monumental scrapples going on this week. And I, I like the lineup. A lot of star studded characters going on. Some old school, some new school, some schooled in the middle. Middle school. Middle schoolers. That's right. If you're not old school or new school, you are now a middle schooler. Big 12, big, no. We'll edit that out, okay, Shelly? God. <laughs> you tried. Middle schooler. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> You're not from the old school or the new school. You're from the middle school. Bunch of middle schoolers. So we're going to jump right into the battle. Um, conditions. Well, first, let's introduce the comic. From the far, 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 far east as you can go. This woman is well-renowned throughout all of the DC universe for her hand-to-hand -hand combat prowess and for being renowned as the most dangerous woman alive on Earth. Lady Shiva. Lady Jones. Lady Shiva. I don't know what else to say about her. She's uh, led the hand, um, has been a rogue of Batman, the Justice League, all manner of heroes and anti-heroes alike, a world-renowned assassin. Assassin. Um, her, 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 her reputation precedes her. She, um, she's done amazing things throughout the DC universe. Just, I mean, short of actually being labeled the best hand-to-hand -hand combat combatant in DC universe, I would say for at least the last five or six years, up until her daughter became a more relevant character and. She lost to her in open combat. Lady Shiva is definitely in the top five on any list in comic book characters as far as hand-to-hand -hand combat is concerned. Um, she's going to be facing the Black Widow. With Endgame coming up, we figured it'd be really good to throw in one of our favorites from the Avengers movies. And, of course, how could you not love Scar Joe playing as Black Widow? So this week we're going to throw in the character Black Widow versus Lady Shiva. Conditions. This one's going down London, England, Parliament in the middle of the night. No weapons, no gadgets, no tricks, no kamikaze routine, none of that. This one's going down bare knuckle brawl to the death. Two women enter, one woman leaves. That's how it's got to go. The winner will go on to face Black Canary next week's Who Dares Win. So make sure you cast your votes, use your thumbs, um, got your conditions, you got your competence. I'm going to toss it over to Shelby, and she's going to get into the bios. Shelby? So, I mean, obviously, when we were thinking about this battle, we had to think, who would be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lady Shiva? I mean, obviously, Black Widow should be the first one to come to mind. I mean, expert hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Like, she was a secret agent and a Russian spy, pretty much. Like, slowed aging, enhanced immune system. Like, an expert marksman and mastery of various other weapons. But for this battle, they're not allowed to use any weapons. It's straight hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we're going to see which one of these ladies really going to come out on top. I agree that it's going to be it's going to be 
a knockdown drag out because even without weapons, both these women are extremely dangerous. Um, we've seen some of her uh, Black Widow's prowess in the Avengers movies and what she can do, but the comics really complement her skill set. Um, she's been on the side of heroes like Daredevil and the Punisher. Um, she's teamed up with the Avengers several times. She was an Avenger for the longest. Like you said, she's a double, triple, quadruple agent in um, the FSB and KGB and um, even a part of the Winter Soldier program. Um, Natasha Romanoff is, is one of the baddest asses in Marvel Universe. So, oh, yeah. Without a doubt, this is definitely someone you want to go up against. Lady Shiva. Lady Shiva. I, it's This character to me has always been someone who I respected, especially as it relates to hand-to-hand -hand combat in the DC Universe. Uh, my first exposure to her was in Batman Death in the Family when she, when Jason Todd thought she was her, uh, his mother. And um, he went to go talk to her and find out if she was or not. And um, she got into a fight with Batman and um, while she was fighting him, Batman was actually worried that he was going to lose. Like, and this was in like the 80s. So I was like, wow, like I've never seen that before. Like I've seen Batman fight a lot of people. And I've never seen him really like, okay, I got to put her down because if I don't, I might end up dead. And I, I, that really sunk in for me. Like, if Batman was worried about this lady kill, and then I read her in the, um, the Robin story, and then she was, I mean, she was in um, Tim Drake's Robin first solo run by herself, and um, she was in plenty of Justice League books, and um, uh, Oliver Queen has crossed paths with her, uh, the Karate Kid. Uh, Connor Hawk, all kind of manner of superheroes have crossed paths with Lady Shiva, and they've all left the same impression that she is the most dangerous woman alive. So, this one right here is one for the record books. Please use your thumbs, vote. Let us know down below who you think will win and who you think does not make it out of Parliament, London, England, in the middle of the night. Lady Shiva, Black Widow, no weapons. To the death. Use your votes. I'm sorry, use your thumbs. Cast your votes. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Stay tuned, we got more battle sweep.